it going everybody this is Kyla Monarch just coming to you with another review um, and this review is going to be on the Tagua Leather um, Texas 1836 the recruiter holster it came in like a container similar to this um, this is the background of the packaging and the packaging is kind of like this sort of like and it's basically specified to your EDC, which stands for Everyday Carry. And you know mine is the P365, Sid Sour. And you just look it up based upon what they have on the sticker, okay, to find your particular holster, all right? And the 1836, the Texas 1836, it is codex in the front. And it's supposed to be made out of the Tagua leather in the back. So we're going to do a uh, more in-depth, I wonder if you guys can see that, a more in-depth review of the particular holster. I see they had, I see they have misspelled Kydex right there. I don't know what's, what's what about that, but anyway. Um, let me go ahead and show you the holster. This is it right here. And it's similar to other holsters that I have reviewed in the past. It's pretty straightforward, basic, um, simple, you know, in nature pretty much. You know, you have your you have your belt, um, your belt clips here, okay. It is a um, inside the waistband holster, and it has like this Kydex front here. Okay, you have your tension screws here in the front, and then you have like this piece of material. They say it's the Tagua leather. Okay, they say that this is the best um, leather to make holsters out of. Okay, but if you turn it around in the front there is like a cloth material that sits on top of that Tagua leather okay so can you you can see like it opening up a buckling right in there and then if you turn it around you can see the Tagua leather there okay the stitching all the way around here it looks pretty good looks pretty decent looks sturdy you see the the back of the tension screws here two on that side three on this side and I'm gonna turn it over so you guys can see how it looks from the side okay and that's the front the opening in the front and then the two screws right there on the side there and that's how it looks going in okay all right so I'm gonna get my um, my EDC and we're gonna get started so far as putting her inside of this holster but for the most part it, like I said it looks like it's just a um, simple and basic holster um, they very these holsters are very inexpensive so that's something to consider when you're looking at buying this holster so let's just get the EDC and check it out. Okay, and here is my EDC, my Sid Sour P365, and she is loaded. And I'm just putting her inside of the holster. Okay, this is how it will look. Okay, if you look at the back, the material does not completely cover that slide. Okay. So we may have some discomfort there. Um, there may be some scratching onto your skin from this. But let's just go ahead and put it on the clothes and put it on the uh, put it inside of my pants and just see. Let me pan you guys um, down a bit. And I want to see see what we're looking like. Okay, the tension seems to be pretty good so far as holding the gun inside of the holster um, upside down. So, it's pretty good. 
that tension, okay? But if you ever need to loosen or tighten the tension, you already know to use a Phillip head screwdriver and tighten them up. Okay, let's go ahead and put these inside of my pants here. Put the, um, the holster and the gun inside of my pants. And I'm bringing the belt clip over. And there we are. All right. So, I don't feel any discomfort, but I do feel the top of that slide, okay? I feel the top of that slide onto my stomach. So, this may not be the right holster for me because I am looking for comfort as well as functionality. Um, and because I do feel the top of that slide there, I just don't want any irritation. And with me sweating and it's summer and I'm getting hot, or whatever I just don't want that irritability you know I don't want to get irritated over here I don't want no discomfort I don't want it to be just scratching me or poking me or anything like that I just don't want that to happen while it's just super hot here okay so the um, holster seems to be sitting okay onto the side from the front, you can see something sticking out here, but, you know, it's nothing unusual. If you turn to the side, there is no printing, okay? No printing from the side. So, everything looks to be pretty decent. My main thing would be just sitting down and having my stomach to touch up against the top of this slide. That would be my main concern. I am going to draw from this holster. Um, let's just see how it performs, you know, in that situation, sort of like. And I'm going to pin you guys up. All right. Okay, so let's see how it works when you're in a situation. I'm just going to draw from it maybe once or twice, and that's it, okay? All right. Situations being presented. Eyes on the target. Okay. And you see that the holster stayed. Okay. The the um the belt clips are tight and they're holding very steady and well on the belt. Okay, so that's one thing to consider. Alright. Now Let's do it a second time. And maybe this probably be it. Situations coming. Eyes on the target. That really wasn't a good draw. Let's try that again. Okay. See, I'm already starting to feel some discomfort. Right in here. I'm starting to... Because my, my, the, the, my tummy is over... That material, that, that top or leather material, my stomach is over that. So now my stomach is touching the top of that slide. So definitely this particular holster would not be ideal for me. Um, let me pan you guys up a little bit more. So this particular holster would not be the ideal holster for me. Um, I would need something a little bit more comfortable. Something that has a little bit more... Um, Something that's a little taller here, okay, to cover that slide for me, you know, with with what I'm dealing with, with my, what is it, a tactical muffin top or whatever. <laughs> While I was at the range, one of the ladies said that's what she called her is a tactical muffin top, so I thought that was cute. So, yeah, I would need something a little higher. And I probably would need something um, that's a little um, softer or something that can deal with the sweat from my body, okay? I don't think the Tawa leather is absorbent enough to deal with the sweat, okay, from my body. So, that's another thing that uh, that is sticking out to me saying that this may not be the holster for me. 
Now, for someone else, it seems like it's the perfect holster. Um, like I said, it's very basic, but all the bases have been covered in this basic holster. Um, like I said, it's very inexpensive. So this may be the right holster for someone else that did not have um, the extra muffin top, I should say, or what have you. So um, that's something to consider and that's something to think about, okay? Um, but again, this is a good holster, but it's just not the holster for me, I should say, okay? All right, well, that's all that I have for today. I want to thank you guys for coming back and watching this review thank you for subscribing to my channel um thank you for just commenting on my channel and just giving me feedback that means a lot um that just it just inspires me it really does just to see you guys on this journey with me and Another thing, thank you so much for liking my videos, for liking my content, for sharing my content. Um, I really do appreciate it. And uh, to my next review, my next, my next video, my next review, and I, I still have some things that I'm working on to improve um, this channel. And I just want to thank you guys so much for everything. So until my next video, until my next review, you guys stay safe, stay cool, and stay hydrated, stay safe. All right, see you soon.